Monaco and I've got this view behind me. What I'm going to do is a quick sketch first and then start putting colour on. It'll be right to be a simple breakdown of the backdrop with some rocks and some sea. And now I've got 4,000 seagulls to add. Which and, uh, I, think, I think our biggest problem is going to be your voice in competition with the seagulls. <laughs> yeah. These oh, juveniles are noisy. Okay, keep them quiet. Quiet please, quiet please. I'm beginning. All right, a little bit of a... I'm going to move in. Okay. I always like to have a... You're creating horizon line. I am know. creating horizon line. I, I don't normally use a ruler and I won't be in the buildings, but it's it's important if you've got a bit of bit of sea in there. I mean, I don't normally do the in the middle, but there's so much going on above and below. There we are. I've got a bit of a cerulean blue. Yeah. Uh, here. I'm just going to wash that in before those clouds overtake the scene. It's interesting. What um, what we found this week as well is that uh, it's going to be good to simplify our painting equipment right down to kind of lightweight, almost military spec stuff. Isn't it? We're going to get um, smaller palettes. Uh, and some pads as well. Some sketchbooks, aren't we? Yeah, but I'm going to leave it um, blue. blue down here. You're kind of leaving a hint of. of I go well. I'll just. Of clouds in as well. Yeah, I'll just uh, wipe them away. Yeah, that's quite nice. Do you need me to hold your water container for you? That's uh, no, okay. Are you sure? Yeah. I quite like that. I think I might just I'm gonna put a little like hint that. of uh, put a little bit of hint of grey. Yeah. Getting a little bit of grey there in the background. That's the We've got a we've got a few clouds moving in this afternoon, so some of just Northern Europe. But it's, it's not bad. No. Oh, well, that's quite nice. I mean, there's, there's a lot of white in that picture. Are you going to leave a lot of white and then just uh, kind of put hints of shades? Yeah, I think so. I mean, um, I mean, there's, actually, there's not that much white. I mean, there's a lot of ramp ramparts here. There's a lot of beach. Yeah. There's a lot of white seagulls. I suppose uh, in the end, those whites aren't actually white, are they? They're no, shades they're of... Gonna be, um, let's have a little bit of... A, beiges and a bit of a, creams and a, a little bit of ochre. The difference between the, between the, the rock and the... the, the Facades in the sand, so I mean, it's a little bit more red here. Let's try a bit of that. I think it's a little redder than what you're putting on. Well, <laughs> I might come back to that, uh, Chef. No, I'm teasing you. 
you know me, ever the art there. critic, that never the work? artist, darling. Is that going to work? I should have really designed something, shouldn't I? Come on, I'll hold it. Okay. That's great. Uh, so look at me, holding the camera, all right. holding your water. Multitasking. Multitasking. Yeah. So now I've got... Certain things don't change, do they, love? No, darling, that's fine. You're doing a great job. I'm going to come sweeping down across the, the beach with the sort of lighter tones first. Well, it's still wet. Bit of... Bit of... Burns, oh, a bit bright. Burnt sienna. Oh, they, the seagulls are liking this. Are, oh, those cries of, are those cries of approval, Simon? No, I've got a feeling they're saying, where are we? We're not in it. Tissue, really. It's quite good. Yeah. Um, I do have some tissues in my handbag. Don't worry, I'll just... Uh, I quite like a bit more red. This is Morocco after all, come on. Okay. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you, Nurse. If I mock your sweating brow. I can do that as well if you've got spare hand. <laughs> that. So yeah, I'm just getting a big kind of wash of sandy colour in here. Look. Let's have a bit of a... I mean, how do you feel about always getting your colours exact? Or do you, do you think one uh, doesn't worry yeah, about think, it too much? No, I think you shouldn't worry about it too much. I mean, it's great to, at this stage, big brush. Let's put some big colours on. While it's still damp, you see, it's kind of blurring away quite nicely. And um, what we don't want to do is be too precious about it. The rocks are going to go in after. They'll, a bit, they'll be a bit darker. Have a little bit of darker brown here somewhere. Get like of that. And um, just getting a little bit of stuff going on. Look. I'll come back into those later on. I mean, do you get? I look at this and I get nervous about the waves. Nervous about the waves? <laughs> what, the incoming tide? No, about the fact that you have to paint them. Okay, yeah, I'll just. Um, oh, no, now what he's done, look at that. What have you done? Right, that'll, it'll, I think it'll you need to in. concentrate. That's right. I'm just going to blend that. See, that will all blend in. Fine. Put a bit of that across there. You see, that's going to get pale. That's mm. going to get pale. So I'm going to come back probably with a, even with some um, another brush. I mean, I suppose the other thing to remember, as we've always said, is as colours dry, they become paler, don't they? They do, yeah. We? Oh, we've got fans lining up. That Somebody wants to take a photo, so I'm just going to And we're back. We had a little interlude. The guys were showing us um, his granddaughter, I think, um, pieces of artwork that she'd done. Arthur was about to make us an offer. Obviously not. But it's tips. lovely, though, isn't it? We often yeah. find this that when we're painting people, it kind of... People come and have conversations, and... We find the Moroccans incredibly friendly. They are such an very hospitable nation and very friendly they just want to chat bring this in so I'm telling, but I'm probably going to come back with a bit of white in here later on okay look at that so those are your waves those are going to be the waves roughly a little bit of a kind of slightly bluey sandy down here I keep telling Simon that, that the tide is going out. I hope I've got it right, otherwise we yeah. could be stranded. When the seagulls leave, we'll know. Okay, washing in. Get some plastic, some plastic down here. Uh, right, what's next? Uh, I, think, um, I think you're done. <laughs> That's right, yeah, I'll just sign that. And I'll be off down to the Medina. See if we get I a feel good, like a cup of coffee. See if I get a good <laughs> um. La troisième étape. That's étape, right. What are we doing? Third stage. Yeah, what I'm going to do now is just put a little bit of um, light and shade in those facades. Okay. Um, Water. Again, going to just hold on one second again. Just I'm going to zoom in on the scene a bit. Okay, you can, just to give you a slightly better idea, it's a quick hop to the, and back we go. Okay, I've changed to a slightly smaller brush. 
going to get a bit of Payne's Grey, put the touch of hot magenta in there. I'm not going to yeah, go into some of these. Do you want to come on this side now? Because I'm going to find out what's okay. over there. You're not to over anything. Okay, I'll try and keep my. Uh, it's quite nice how there's a bit of light on there. This is now our, my view it's of the the surf rolling in. I must admit, I've got a. I love the Atlantic. It's one of those amazing oceans. It's just, it's really. For me, oh, yeah, it's, yeah. it holds kind of nostalgic. There's a nostalgia about it. Having grown up in South Africa, and it's the ocean that kind of runs along the one side of South Africa all the way up into Namibia, and then all the way up the African coast and the west coast of South Africa. Sorry, we've got a big shadow across the board oh, sorry. now. Yeah, okay, I'll just come back. No, anyway. it just is what it is. And it's, uh... <coughs> Excuse my cough. A bit of dark in the back. Oh. <laughs> I'm just trying to balance this out. Eh? Because you're trying to look strong, but you don't want it too regular. That's the kind of thing. Okay. Down here, we're going to look at a stronger tone. It's fine. I think 
what we're going to do now is perhaps an even smaller brush and let's put some um, detail in detail in the uh, in the windows there. Yeah. Are we swapping to what we have now called um, Esuera blue? Esuera blue, yeah. It's kind of a it's almost no, it's not quite cyan. It's slightly darker than cyan. It's almost what yeah. we would call royal blue, I suppose, in English. English, yeah, like isn't a, it? Yeah, can I show you? It's not an ultra Those are <laughs> this is wrong. Don't show this. I'm, I've not got it. You're not. You don't worry. It's fine. You'll get there. You'll get there. Yeah. What are you well, mixing? A bit of cerulean, a, a, a little bit of magenta, a little bit of ultramarine, and I think that's, that's getting close enough. So you need few. some of that um, pigment that we bought from that little oh, art right, shop. You're right, so that'll be good. Um, okay, without going into too much. So you can actually buy pure powdered pigment, pigment in some of the art shops here. Um, yeah, that's about right. And we bought some. It's a wear blue, and we're going to experiment with it next year with some of our artists. And you can mix that with water or with um, wheel, uh, with the linseed oil to make up oil paints. So it really is pigment in its purest form. I think I've got a few little hints of this colour. It kind of appears on, on roof terraces and stuff, doesn't it? Yeah, and mix. Zoom in so people can see those hints of blue. The windows, and there's a little bit on the terraces over there. So Simon's just trying to capture that. Making that root that more yeah, stand out a bit more. Just away from the, so it gets the uh, sound a little bit of a different colour. On, on that note. And what about the roof of that little um, minaret as well? 
Yeah. That one, yes. Yeah. And that little bit of detailing around there, because it's... I mean, obviously you're yeah. not... Sorry. Yeah, no, I shouldn't... Can you hold this for a second? I just want to zoom in on that. Sorry. Excuse my hand-handed. So there you can see that little minaret tower just over there which I'm sure Simon's not going to do in as much detail because it's got some nice surf coming in over there now. Okay, I'm just going to put a couple of more little things in. Just some, uh, just give a bit more definition of here. And then I'm actually going to come back with some white over here as well. That's going to need some white over there. Before. Can I zoom in on your? So you put a little bit of, a, a bit of water down there, but I'm hoping that's going to be a little bit of. A, needs a hint of blue in there. Yeah, why not? Let's try a bit of hint of blue. And a thousand seagulls, of course. But Our audience is probably sitting there going, yeah, Monica, why are you telling him how to paint? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure the man oh, knows good. how to do it no, without no, no, the no, running I'm commentary. Uh, flying by the seat of my pants here. Okay, I'm going to put a few horizontals over there. If you want to move over a little bit that way. Over which way? That way. Okay. And I can uh, just want to put some um, some waves, some waves coming up. Right, the tide is going out. It's really. It's pulling the rock in down here. It's nice about. It. I nearly tried to um, dip his, his pen in my camera <laughs> instead of in the water that I'm holding. Oh, green? There's green there. Well, I guess, yeah, we'll there's algae, look. There's algae, seaweed yes, right. and algae. There is actually green on those rocks. I think you can quite mm. legitimately add a little bit of green. Okay, I'm going to just let that I dry now. Okay. And now I'm going to put some line work in. So take a short break. Yeah. I'm just gonna. I must confess, I kind of like putting a little bit of line work in that. I often use like a watercolor crayon, but once you've put these lines in with a watercolor crayon, that's going to smudge if you add more paint, which I am planning on doing. So what I'm doing at the moment is effectively reminding myself where I am. So Simon, you told us you were going to add a bit of white. I was going to add a bit of white, but uh, looking through my uh, travel tin. I've found I've left it back in the, um, the little apartment there, so um, that's not happening until later. So yeah, there's lovely... Just kind of loosely, just suggesting some of that crumbling brickwork under here. I notice you're really holding your pencil very lightly and kind of almost on its side rather than yeah, it just holding it like a, you're about to write a letter. Yeah, it just gives it a little bit more sort of soft to finish. Likewise, you know, on the rocks here as well, you know, we can just add that in. It's quite nice having a sort of line there. So yeah, I mean, So yeah, in a way it kind of turns into a rather nice kind of coloured watercolour sketch. So what I'll do, I'll, I'll pencil a few of these um, seagulls in as well, just to kind of... Then I'll go back in later on with a bit of white gouache and grey. 
likewise on the on the rocks, I think. Oh, I think, do you know what I'm going to be doing tonight if I can't so, sleep? So. Counting seagulls. Counting seagulls, yeah. So then we're just going to a little bit of... Because literally, I don't think I've ever seen so many seagulls in one place. You no, don't no, want no. to be scared of birds. No, you, you don't. I mean, here. luckily, I mean, I have been in Bristol years ago and they would, they would attack you if they didn't like you. I think they'd probably be quite well fed and comfortable here. It's not a nest as such. There's a guy in front of us that hasn't figured out that what he's trying to eat is actually a main... It's like... Oh, no, it isn't. I thought it was a cloth, but it is actually a bit of calamari by the looks of things. I wonder if they select the menu. Certain yes. days are on uh, different foods. So I'm just going to put this in over here from there. Okay, I'm going me? to move around in front of me. And... Yeah, so it's going to be. Okay, so I like to see the clouds coming, but I just can't get up. Can we get in above here to set it? Yeah, I'm going to put it all the way. In fact, just get the detail in, and then that becomes a nice reflection beneath. See what I mean? Yes. Just a bit of some line work in the foreground. Sort of something. Gonna have to be, I think it's gonna have to be a. Is that another one of our seagulls? The, the danger is, of course. They're real characters, these seagulls. They are, aren't they? but it's so easy to make them. I've got to be very careful. I might even you go back. You don't want them to look too cartoony. Too cartoony. You took, let's have a look. Maybe I'll just have one out. A few flying. Flying there. I'll just come back a bit later. Good one. A few birds always. I might have to um, yeah, practice my seagulls. Well, they're one um, the kind of penguins. Do you know what I need? It's like one of those shooting poles. Shooting poles? Yeah, oh, so I'll do it to lean back on. So I can sit down on we'll, it. We'll, we'll work that out. We'll work that out. Yeah, I'll put a few more little rocks here. That just helps. Are we almost finished? We are actually, no, yeah. But what, what I will do, uh, I'll come around this side so you can look. Yeah, so what I would do now, I said, <laughs> this has been a watercolor sketch set in Esauera. And what I'm doing now, just putting a little bit of line work in, and I'm going to go back with some pictures of seagulls and drop them in. And a little bit of white here and there, maybe some, a little bit of surf going over the rocks in the background, and some more white in here. Just a few little highlights of white, I think it'll help. So, um, yeah, great. So far, so good. So, we're, we're signing out from our... Signing out for spot. now. Signing out for now, but we will put the um, final artwork up as well later on. Au revoir. Au revoir. A bientôt. A bientôt. Shukran.